Understanding Group Theory, a simple guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating concept called group theory. This might sound a bit complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Group theory is a part of mathematics, but it's also a term used in everyday English. Let's dive in and understand what it means in both contexts. Group theory is a branch of mathematics that studies groups. But what exactly is a group in this context? A group is a collection of elements that follow certain rules. For example, think of numbers under addition. If you add two numbers, you get another number. This is a simple example of a group. Group theory helps us understand patterns and structures that show up in various areas like physics, chemistry, and even computer science. In everyday English, group theory can refer to the idea of working together in a group. It's about how people or things interact and work together. For example, when a team works on a project, they're using a form of group theory. They bring different ideas and strengths together to achieve a common goal. Understanding group theory, in both mathematics and everyday life, is important because it helps us understand and predict patterns and behaviors. In math, it can explain the symmetry in nature or the behavior of particles in physics. In daily life, it helps in teamwork and collaboration, ensuring that people can work together effectively. Let's look at some examples. In math, the set of integers with addition is a group. In daily life, a music band working together to create a song. I hope this video has helped you understand what group theory is all about. Whether it's the complex mathematical concept or the simple idea of working together, group theory plays a significant role in both fields. Remember, it's all about finding patterns and working together. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next learning adventure.